Hey everyone, TPS Miner here. Welcome back to the TPS Miner channel. Today we are going to uh, walk through the steps required to flash the BIOS on a 1660 Super with Hynix memory. So let's take a quick look. You can see I do have one of these cards here. It's an Asus. Uh, we're getting 31.38 mega hash on Ethereum. But if you look at my overclocks, the memory overclock I have to set at minus 1004 to be able to achieve the 31.38 mega hash on Ethereum. So the Hynix memory uh, poses a bit of a challenge for overclocking. You can see right above, I do have a 1660, 1660 Super Asus with Samsung memory where I can overclock with a memory of plus 2000 and I can get 32.02 mega hash. But with the Hynix, uh, the overclocking is a little different. So the idea behind this is flashing either the MSI 1660 Super BIOS or the Palette 1660 Super BIOS uh, will allow you to get upwards of 33, 34, 35 mega hash by allowing you to use the standard or the more standard overclock settings. So we're gonna go ahead and give this a shot. We're gonna see what happens and I'm gonna walk you through step-by-step step how to do it. But before we start, I just want to throw out a disclaimer. This is extremely risky. There is a possibility that if this doesn't work, you will brick the graphics card. Uh, there are also rumors of some unintended consequences, things like the temperature readings going away, uh, your power readings going away, uh, just odd behaviors of the cards in general. So this is not a recommendation to do this, this is simply me walking through the steps and showing you how I'm doing it on my graphics card. I'm willing to take the risk to do it uh, just to show how it would be done. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do, because we're going to be touching the BIOS of this card, we're going to stop the miner. This is the first thing you're gonna wanna do. So we're gonna stop the miner. While we're waiting for that to stop, uh, I do wanna point out there is a prerequisite to do this in Hive OS. The prerequisite is that you have the Hive OS version 0.6-210 or higher. So there were some changes made in those high, in the 6-210 uh, version of Hive OS that would allow you to flash the 1660 Super BIOS in Hive OS. If you have a version older than that, this will not work. Okay, so the miner is stopped. Um, so the next thing that we're going to need to do if we're gonna flash this BIOS is we're gonna to need to grab the BIOS that we're gonna flash. So there is a Reddit thread, and I'll post the link to this Reddit thread in the comments section where you have the links to the MSI or the pallet version. I'm only gonna do the MSI version. So full disclosure, I have already done this before, so I know the MSI version works on my graphics card. I have not tested the pallet, and so I'm not willing to risk it because I know the MSI version works. So I'm gonna click on this link and what this is gonna do is this will open a Dropbox. And from this Dropbox, we're going to be able to download the MSI GTX 1660 Super-6G-90.16.4F.40.A9 dash 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 ROM file. So it tells you, you can't preview this file, click on download. And what I've done, I created a folder on my desktop called 1660 Super Hynix Memory and I downloaded this file into that directory. Okay, let's jump over to Hive OS. Again, we have stopped our miner, so we uh, can, can actually work with this card without uh, having any risk of um, problems because of our miner running. And we're gonna go to the farm page, and we're gonna select cards and we're going to, under the cards section, there's a vBIOS ROM storage. We're gonna click that, and we're gonna add a vBIOS. So card type, we're gonna to toggle this to NVIDIA. We're gonna select the ROM file that we just downloaded, this guy, and we'll, we would hit open, and that's gonna give us the file we give it a name and a description and then upload it into HiveOS. 
So we've done that and you can see I've got a VBIOS here of MSI, so blah, blah, blah. This is the one we just downloaded. I named it 1660 Super Hynix Flash and this is now available for me to use. All right, let's jump back over to cards and now let's scroll down and let's find our 1660 Super Asus with Hynix memory. And we're gonna go over to the, the three dots and we are going to select download vBIOS. So what we're gonna be doing is we are gonna download the existing vBIOS file that is on our 1660 Super. So you'll toggle the slider to save to the farm's vBIOS storage and then download that file. Once we've done that, you will see a vBIOS file um, that is, so we're gonna go next, uh, we'll go back, sorry, we're gonna go back to the vBIOS ROM storage and you can see now I have two files in my ROM storage. I've got the one that we are going to flash onto that card, and I've also got the one that we downloaded. So if we have a problem, if there is an issue with us flashing this MSI BIOS file, we have the backup that we can flash back to the card. Okay, let's go back over to the cards, and we're gonna scroll back down to the 1660 Super with the Hynix memory. We're gonna click on the three dots and we're gonna do select vBIOS. Now, there are some warnings here. Uh, the one it really that, uh, so I talked about this before. Um, please make sure that the BIOS version corresponds to the model of your video card and that this operation is really necessary for you and you know exactly what you're doing. Otherwise, you can turn your device into a brick with possible loss of warranty and its recovery will be possible only in the service center or only in the presence of special equipment. Hive OS team isn't responsible for possible negative consequences of this operation, equipment failure, degradation, etc. So this is the, war the warning, just, you know, be careful what you're doing. So before we select a file, we're going to toggle the reboot after flash and force flashing, ignoring security checking. And then we are going to select the MSI version of vBIOS that we want to flash. Okay, so this is saying now, one prepared to flash vBIOS, and you can see that we're preparing to flash the MSI version of the vBIOS onto our Hynix card. <sighs> All right, I get nervous doing this, but here is the moment of truth. So let's hit flash cards and let's see what happens. Okay, so you can see now that we are in process of updating our vBIOS to the 1660 Super Hynix uh, memory, or the Hynix flash file that we, uh, we had saved. So we will now wait and uh, see what happens. Okay, it looks like it worked. So we now have a GTX 1660 Super Asus Hynix memory with the VBIOS of 1660 Super Hynix Flash. So let's go ahead and go back to our worker and we'll go over to Vader, which is currently rebooting. And you can see that now GPU-5 is a 1660 Super MSI with Hynix memory. We do still have the overclock settings here of 1050 and negative 1004. So let's go ahead and change this to I know I can set this memory clock to 2100 and let's apply this and we'll let the miner start up and we'll see what we are getting in terms of hash rate on this 1660 Super. Okay, so the miner has been up for uh, almost four minutes now and you can see our hash rate now sits at 33.3 mega hash with the updated MSI BIOS. Our power consumption has increased to 73 watts. So basically what we're seeing here is an increase of about two mega hash 
and a power draw increase of about five watts. Uh, let's talk a little bit about some of the other consequences of making this update. So I mentioned before there have been rumors of people seeing their temperature not being reported or their power consumption not being reported. We don't see any of that, those issues, but one of the things that has happened to my ASUS 1660 Super is one of the fans has stopped working. So I did go back to the original ASUS BIOS, as I'd mentioned, you saw that we had, uh, had, were running that ASUS BIOS at the beginning of this video. And I did confirm that when I switched back to the ASUS BIOS, the fan did start working again. So this isn't an issue of a fan failure. This is an issue of a BIOS incompatibility and the only one of the two fans now works in this card. So I am going to have some temperature things that I'm going to need to deal with. So that one fan that is working is going to have to work harder. Uh, so again, another consequence of doing this update. Otherwise, there have been no additional issues that I've found. I have been running this 1660 Super with this BIOS for about a month. And uh, the hash rate is stable. The card is extremely stable with these overclocks. I can get closer to 34 mega hash. But once I get to that 34 mega hash mark, uh, the card becomes unstable and does crack. And one last thing I want to mention here, when you're flashing the BIOS onto a graphics card, if the flash attempt fails, do not reboot the rig, do not reboot the card, try to flash that BIOS again. If the BIOS that you're trying to flash is not working, revert back to the original BIOS file that you backed up off of the card and flash that BIOS. Go back to to the stock standard settings or the stock BIOS. Uh, it's not worth risking the card to try and flash uh, a BIOS that's just going to get you a few mega hash. So again, if you have a, a flash failure, do not power cycle, do not reboot. Continue trying to flash until you have a successful flash. All right. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch this video. I do really appreciate it. If you enjoyed the content, please hit the like button. Give us that thumbs up. Uh, please consider subscribing to the channel and hit that notification bell so you'll be notified of future content. I uh, hope you have a great rest of your day and I look forward to seeing you guys again real soon.